Hi, now I am going to provide an atlas about heuristic method. The word heuristic has been derived from the Greek word hiroskop, mm -hmm. which means I find or I discover. This method implies that the attitude of students shall be that of the discoveries and not passive disciplines of knowledge. Amsterdam originally introduced this method for learning of science. This method emphasizes experimentation as the teacher becomes on locker and the child tries to move ahead independently without any help. This method makes the student self-reliant and independent. But the teacher should develop the heuristic attitude by making lot of preparation. The questions should be so planned that it may be possible for the students to find the solutions independently by proceeding in a proper directions. Definition of heuristic method. According to H. E. Armstrong, this is the method for teaching which plays the pupils as far as possible in the attitude of the discoverer. According to Wetzwave, the heuristic method is intended to provide training in method. Knowledge is the secondary consideration together. The primary objectives of the methods are to inculcate in the students the habit of inquiry and research, enables him to listen, to observe, to ask and to discover, make the pupils more exact, observant and thoughtful, lay solid foundations for future self-learning, inculcate the spirit of scientific inquiry. Next, I am going to concentrate the examples of heuristic method. Example 1. The population of the city is 50,000. The rate of growth in population is 4% per annum. What will be the population after 2 years? I solve this problem by using heuristic method. First, the teacher asked the students what we have to find out in the given questions. Immediately, the students replied, population after 2 years. And the teacher asked the students, how can we find it? The students replied, first we find the population after one year. The teacher asked, what is the growth of the every year? The students replied, rate of growth is 4% per annum. Then the teacher asked the students, what will be the population in the end of the first year? The immediate students replied, population after one year, 50,000 plus 50,000 into 4 divided by 100 is equal to 50,000 plus 200 is equal to is equal to 52,000 sorry is equal to 50,000 plus 2,000 is equal to 52,000 then immediately teacher asked the students what will be the base population for second year the students replied this populations of the second year is 52,000 the teacher asked the students how can we find the growth then students immediately replied, the growth of the second year is 52,000 into 4 divided by 100 is equal to 2,080. Then teacher asked the students, what will the population after 2 years? The students replied, the population of 2 years, after 2 years is equal to 52,000 plus 2,080 is equal to 54,080. It is the answer for that above questions. Then example 2, prove that a power 0 is equal to 1. Now, I can prove the statement by using heuristic method. The teacher asks the students, what is 10 by 5? Immediately the students reply, 2. The teacher asks the students, what is 5 by 5? The students reply, 1. And the teacher asks the students, what is 7 by 7? Immediately the students reply, 1. Then teacher asks the students, what is the A by E? Students reply, 1. Then teacher asks the students, what is A power M divided by A power M? It's equal to 1. Then students reply that 1, answer is 1. Then teacher asks the student, how do you get the results? The students reply that, if we divide the number by itself, we will get 1. The teachers ask the students, how can we write a power m into 1 by a power m in another way? The students immediately reply that a power m minus m is equal to a power 0. The teacher asks the students, what do you infer from the above discussion? The students immediately said the answer a power 0 is equal to 1
I am going to some of the advantages of heuristic method in teaching mathematics merits. This is a psychological method as the students learn by self practice. It creates clear understanding. It is a meaningful learning. Its students learn by doing, learning by doing. So there is a little scope for forgetting. He develops self-confidence, self-discipline in the students. The students acquire command of the subject. He has clear understand and notation of the subjects. It gives the students a sense of confidence and achievements. The method makes them exact and bring them closer to truth. It inherits in the students the interest for the subject and also develops willingness in them. Now, I am list out some of the disadvantages of heuristic method in teaching mathematics. Demerits. It is not suitable for lower classes as they are not independent thinkers. Discovery of thinking needs hard work, patience, concentration, reasoning and thinking powers and creative abilities. It is very slow method, that is time consuming method, it is lengthy. The students have to spend a lot of time to find out minor results. The teacher may find it difficult to finish the syllabus in time. It does not suit larger classes. It suits only hardworking and origin thinking teachers. A method is successful if well equipped libraries, laboratories and good textbook written in heuristic lines but such facilities are lacking in our schools. This method is not quite suitable for primary classes. However, this module method can be given a trial in high and higher center classes. But before implementing this method, it should ensure that there is a gifted and resourceful teachers, necessary infrastructure and library and other resources available in the school. If successfully implemented heuristic method can develop efficiency of problem solving skills, independent thinking and reason, self-learning and self-reliance among the students. Thank you.